Welcome to Stay Up Late Night, a new kind of late night. Tonight, our guest is the former co-host of Stay Up Late Night and hot new artist. Well, maybe not new. You've been rapping for a minute. But tonight, we have Stoop Kid here with what us. Up, what up? Yes, you? sir. Big Stoop, what up? Welcome Shit. back to the show. It's been a while, man. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> <laughs> what you been up to, bro? You know, working, working. I got fucking three jobs now. Chilling. Damn. Damn, three? Making that money. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Let me hold five hours. Hardest working show. <laughs> Shit, I actually yeah, need show five business. Hours. Yeah. You need to give out some, some lessons to some people about working hard. Work ethic, right? Well, it's funny because like when people say you're working too hard, you're working too hard, you need to like think about are you working on yourself though? You know what I mean? Yeah. Can you ever really be working too hard? Mm, I mean, no. I'm like addicted to is, working low key. Is rap one of the <laughs> jobs or is that a separate job? I mean, I would say no, because it's I spend more money on music. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. But I mean, I make a lot of money to spend money on music, so my music can go further. Hell yeah! But hell yeah! But three jobs is not it, man. You don't want that. Three jobs is not it. You don't. Want you got to find a way to make money while you're sleeping, man. That too, yeah. <laughs> That's what How is. do you sleep with three jobs? Um, about <laughs> three, four hours. <laughs> Now are you like overlapping them? Like, are they full time? Are they all like so one full time, two part times? Yeah, so I got a full time during the day. Okay. And then at night I switch off different jobs. So it's um I'm food running at uh Woody's, mm -hmm. um and then another food running job somewhere else. So damn nice. Yeah. About three days there, two days the other place. About to be season Ooh. out there, man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, getting close. I right can't wait. Corner. Actually, it's a lot of money. A lot yeah, a lot, lot of money, and I swear, mm -hmm. like when when it's busy like that, it just makes the nights go by so quicker. And yeah, stuff. so much yeah. more. Yeah. Anybody in the food industry here from like March to like December on the island is like killing it. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what you selling. <laughs> you so, bro, it. let's let's start from the beginning, man. Um, where are you from? I'm from uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina. Uh, Matthews Drive. Shout out to Matthews. Specifically, hey. <laughs> yeah. If you want to come holler at him, you'll be on the stoop. Yeah. He'll be on the stoop, <laughs> right? <laughs> we from Old Woodlands. You've been there your whole life? Yeah, that well, area? not, not, so I left Old Woodlands when I was about 10, 10 or 11. Mm. We moved to the South End. Um, For the people who don't know. Yeah, South End, North End. So Old Woodlands <laughs> is on the North End. South End, it's by the beach, Caligny and all that shit. Um, but we moved over there. I stay there. We s switched around different apartments, and then, uh, yeah, then I got kicked out of school, went to military school. Uh, uh, did, did your did your uh, family always live here? Or did they move here from somewhere? Yeah. So uh, so my mom's from actually she's from New York, Stony Brook, Long Island. Okay. I was born Stony in Stony Brook Hospital, bro. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh man. So um, that explains, Sully. <laughs> 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 but my dad, he's from Ohio. Um, Oh, they, he's one of them. Yeah. No. He, uh, <laughs> he uh, they both moved down here. They uh, got a job bartending at a Callahan's. They Damn. first met at oh, Callahan's. Callahan's. Back yeah, in the man. Day, yeah. I heard it was wild back then. Oh man, like worse than now. Oh man, I I know stories from both sides. My dad from my mom. So my dad told me some stories some too. Some wild shit happened at Callahan's. Oh man, <laughs> anything you could think of went down over there. My dad said they used to like lay down lines like the length of the bar on that bitch oh, <laughs> wow i believe it <laughs> hilton head back I'm telling in... you yeah right dude they have like when you go into callahan's they have like a glass box like when you go into like the like the waffle house you mm. know you go through like the like the glass yeah, yeah, into yeah. The place. yeah, yeah. it yeah. almost was a waffle no <laughs> was it, yeah, it looks <laughs> like it was a waffle house before that. that's the worst <laughs> fucking place to park though <laughs> i saw oh, two yeah. dudes getting a fight in that box one yeah, night and they were just too. bouncing each other up the walls it was crazy, yeah. And then the bartender like jumps out from behind there and shit. It's all it's like free for all out it's there. Like free for all. <laughs> it's funny. I was there the other day. Somebody got their car stuck, you know, in like that like, tiny ass alley. That gravel. Oh you know, yeah, There's yeah. a gravel mm -hmm. spot like right there. Their car was stuck, right? So he's he's trying to peel out, like <laughs> spinning fucking, his tires. Spinning tires, right? I walk up. He's like, "What?" I was like, "What? What's going on?" He's like, "I'm stuck." I look down. He's got no his, shit. Like, he's got his uh, um, e brake on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, you should not be driving right now. Nah, oh, nah, man. that bad. Yeah, yeah. I heard this. they're redoing that place. I think. 
I think I think I heard that too. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, so what made your your family move here? Um. So my mom visited here, like when she was. Uh, like they vacationed here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, dude. My parents so too. She Same. went. She she came here one time, went back, and then, like right out of college, she came back and never went went back to New York. Yeah, and facts. Just, just stayed, and then she met him at Callahan's. They were bartenders together for sixteen years there. Oh shit. And um, so they met on Hill and Head. Yeah, yeah. They got married and had my sister, and then my mom got like a a regular job, and my dad was still there. He worked there for another ten years, um, and then had me, and then. Were you on accident? No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I think the majority of us were. So <laughs> Tell us how did it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so there was one night. No. <laughs> I remember it was at a hotel. No, so, no. so your parent were your parents together growing up? Uh, yeah. When I was there, they um, we were growing up. Eight, I think, eight years old when they split. It was you know the cliche mm. kind of thing. They split. My mom worked three jobs. You were eight when they split. Yeah, about eight or nine. How yeah. How old's your sister? Is, is she? How much she's, older is she? She's four years and a day apart. Four years and a day. Yeah, I swear to God. Damn. Oh, yeah, so September seventh. Yeah. September eighth. It's an older sister, younger older, sister. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got you and my daughter share a birthday. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. forget that every year. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, happy yeah. birthdays, dude. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. But um, yeah, my dad left when we were like eight or uh, when I was eight or nine. And uh my mom had to work three jobs, take care of the house. Uh my sister kind of raised me from there, um, making me do homework and shit, making me food. <laughs> you know? Making your you mom do right had, things. Your yeah. mom had yeah. three you jobs right as well. Things. Yeah, so my mom, yeah, when my dad left, she had to pick up another job, and then she was bartending at night, too. So she had a regular job. Um, How did that shit, like, affect you as an eight-year-old? I mean, I was a kid. Like, I don't know. Did you not understand it? <laughs> yeah, or? I didn't understand. I mean, I just thought everybody's parents kind of work, you know? Right. Like that. So I just was used to my sister being around, bossing me around, so. Older sisters are so bossy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but I think. But that shit changed my sister because now she's like real dedicated and being like she's super serious. How many jobs she got? She she only has one, but, but it's a good ass one. Well, she's a GM now. She's a general manager at a okay. restaurant. We always so said she should dope. be your manager. <laughs> she she still says that to this day. <laughs> still possible. Still so, possible. Yeah. She so seems out like of your she mom and no dad. Shit. My bad. Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. So out of your mom and dad, did, like did either of them listen to rap music and stuff? Did you grow up around that? Or was it your older sister? So what's funny is now my mom was listening to like um rock and roll like led zeppelin right um, was it, uh, i forgot the dude's name but i'll think of it in a minute but my dad he actually it was funny my dad actually listened to a lot of like Mar mariah carey and shit yeah <laughs> a little more so, on the r&b hey, side mariah so carey's weird. an og man hey. no, i know i know dude my dad went to high school with her Oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did he smash? No, <laughs> no. <Nah, nah, laughs> that'd be a story for the books. Right? I don't know if my mom's watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's still possible. So he was into, so he was into like totally like Mariah Carey type shit. Yeah, like he, I don't know. He was quiet because I didn't, I don't, I don't really even know my dad like that. So it's like every time we were around, he was like coming from the bar, you know, three a.m. He'd take me to school and then go home and sleep until you know his next shift. So, so when they split, like, he kind of, like, left out of your life a little bit? Yeah, all the way. Yeah, all the way. Um, he actually lives probably eight miles away from me right now. Damn. I, yeah. I haven't seen him in 17, 18, 19 years. Oh, Damn. Shit. You want to uh, go beat his ass? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Round up the truth. Yeah. <laughs> nah, we'll take this live right now. We'll leave. <laughs> crazy story, though. I saw him. So me and my buddy Will, we skipped school one day. And uh, we went to Atlanta Bread Company mm -hmm. to go, you know, because that was a spot where no one would know us, you know. So we were like, we got to get something to eat. And uh, How old were you? Shit, this was middle school. I was like, we were in like eighth grade, probably 13, 14. Uh, skipped school, rode our bikes to Atlanta Bread Company. I opened the door for this lady, and then I, uh, there's a man behind her, and he's got a kid in his hand, like a real, like an infant. Mm -hmm. And he walks in, and we made eye contact, and... We're literally wearing the same orange polo, like oh shit, on yeah, you're shit like you were wild. looking in a mirror, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, God damn, that's my dad. Like, what the fuck? So it it took me back a minute. So I'm sitting there, and Will's like, Yo, come on, we gotta hurry up and order. Mm -hmm. You know, we're skipping school and shit. So mm -hmm. I was did like, you say anything to Will? 
Yeah, I was like, yo, bro, I just saw my dad. Because Will, like, Will never asked me about my dad. Does yeah. he resemble you? Like, do y'all look, oh, look yeah. alike? Oh, yeah. I, I'll show you a picture in a minute. I think I still got it. But, um, yeah, he looks like me. Like, I Did saw you say anything to him? Nah, he did. He said, thank you. And then I was like, uh, you're welcome. He was working there? No. He oh, was, he was just in there? He was, <laughs> you, no, did he recognize must, you? <laughs> he had to have, man. Yeah. He, the way we made eye, con- eye contact, he, like, felt the vibe like it was me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, I don't, I've never, I don't have a kid, so I mean, if if you saw your kid after so many years, you, I feel you, like I think you, I hope know. he felt yeah, like yeah. shit. He probably did, he probably <laughs> dude. Did. What was that? If it his baby, I'm assuming. So I, at the time, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. At the time, I was just like, maybe he just found a shoddy with a kid, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, so a few years later, I'm, my, I got my first job at four, uh, fifteen. No, 16, at uh, New York City Pizza. It's a pizza shop, obviously. That work ethic again. But, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, so, yeah, my first job, This it's literally my first month working. He comes in on on uh, on his lunch break, and fucking I see him sit down. I was like, oh, shit, that's my dad. You know, I was like, I didn't know if he was still on the island or not. So <laughs> he orders pizza and a salad, and I run it to him. And I drop it off, and uh, I'm sitting there for a second because I would have thought he would have noticed me. Yeah. And I was like, I go, you know who I am, right? He's like, yeah, you're my son. Damn, and I was bro. like, damn, so, like, no acknowledgement? Like, nothing? Like You yeah, should have put, wild. like, 10 years of child support on his check. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> but not, I would have I I threw his food on the fucking floor. Yeah, that's no crazy. acknowledgement? Throw that shit back. Yeah, Just that throw job. that shit on the floor. That's like some movie shit. Facts, but like, like I said, it's my first job, so I didn't want to fuck it up. Right, you know? yeah, like, yeah. Um, so I'm sitting there and I'm like, fuck. So this dude, he asked somebody else to get like to go boxes. Cause obviously he didn't want to be there no more. And, um, so he's walking out. So I walk behind him and I'm like, so nothing, man. Like, you don't want to talk nothing, like nothing like that. And he was like, here's my number. He wrote down his number. Here's my number. If you need to talk or anything, let me know. Wow. I was like, I ripped it up right in front of him. I said, fuck you, dude. And walked off. Wow. You said, hit me up if you want to talk. This was after, like, what, like, fucking 14 years at this point? Yeah, it's just, like, like, you asshole. Like, That's <laughs> it. Hit me up if you want to talk. Like, yeah. yeah. So like, have, I got you, to have you spoke to him, like, since then? Nah, nah. So, and then I got, so, at 17, I got a new job. It was, like, cleaning condos and shit. Mm. And uh, for Spinnaker, I don't know if you guys know what yeah, Spinnaker Yeah, yeah, I know Spinnaker. Um, so, yeah, I'm working there, and... um. He works for the same company, but I never, I never like see him, you know. Mm. And uh, he's actually a maintenance guy. I was cleaning rooms, and he actually comes in to fix a microwave while I'm cleaning the room. Damn. And um, he turns around, and we both made eye contact again. And he kind of just walks out and takes the microwave and leaves. He's probably like, "Damn, I can't get away from you." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like by then, it's like. Dude, move or something, you know? Yeah, or yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. or yeah. like, eight miles or, down or the road, too. Or acknowledge us. You yeah. Know what yeah. I mean? yeah, you're bound to run it's into crazy someone that again he, and again if they're like super close. Like especially that. on Hilton Head, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's but, crazy that he stayed local and like. Yeah, like, after like all that, I've been, I've been, you know, I see his car, I know what he drives, I know where he lives and shit. So, damn, you. It's you, like. So this <laughs> old time, what? <laughs> no. We'll talk later. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. you got some self control because I think yeah. I would have reacted differently. Like yeah. first job, but not. I think all his food would have been in his face. Nah, like, yeah. <laughs> after that time, like you know what I mean. If it would have been a different interact, I guess mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But just the fact that he didn't acknowledge you and he knew who you were was like. He might as well just slapped you in the face. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, right. that's what it felt like. Well, guess Shit. what? You got hits and your dad don't. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. And right. fuck it. You did all. You, yeah, hey, shit, you made it this far without his ass. That's right. But it's crazy because when I pe- see people um, that knew him from when he was working at Callahan's with mm-hmm. my mom and shit, they're like, oh, how's your dad doing? Cause they Do you have s- mutual friends? Uh, like Or, like, mutual, like, people s- like that know him and that you're yeah, yeah, friends yeah. with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my mom... All my mom's friends are my dad's friends, too, but my dad literally just left and talked to nobody. Mm. So all his friends are still my mom's friends. So some of them don't even know that they split like that because they haven't seen each other in so long. But uh, if, it, if it's not getting too personal, like, what, why, why did, has your mom ever told you, like, why they split or, like, why he would just, like, yeah, he ghost? Was, he was, yeah, he was just being a dog. Yeah. Just dogging it, yeah. Damn. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, so when I, f- but yeah, other people, they'll like come up to me and it's like, oh, how's your dad doing? Your dad's such a great guy, da 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 da. And I'm like, <laughs> did you tell them? I was like, like are we talking about the same person? Yeah, did you tell like, him, or are we just like, yeah, good. Oh yeah, yeah. I just, I just, whatever, you know, don't because I, I don't got time to get into all that shit. So yeah. it's like, be like shit. Yeah, I mean, if you want to know, go talk to my mom. You know, you know yeah. her, but. But no, they, and then um, when I saw him there, I was talking to my mom about it, and she actually told me the whole story of what happened, blah, blah, blah. And so that's when I found out that kid that he walked in at the Atlanta Bread Company, that was actually his kid. So I got a stepbrother I've never even half met. Brother. Oh, Somewhere half around brother. here, yeah. How half long ago was that? Shit, he would be, I think he's 14 now. Damn. Like 13 or 14. Got to get him on the track, man. Hey, but while we're talking about your mom, shout out your mom. Oh, yeah, Mama Duke. She's she's, she's the truth. Facts. Mom Duke. Super cool. Holding down the fort. Mama Liz, yeah. But while we're on the topic of family, bro, did you tell me one time that you're, like, you're black? So, (laughs) here here we go. For real, for real. And the views go viral. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's He's not black. No logic. No logic shit. It's actually funny. I took a screenshot of my cousin. Um. Mm -hmm our conversation because he was coming in town. So my cousin on my dad's side, he he's black, my cousin. Um, mm. So my dad, his dad, or my dad and his two brothers, they're, um, they're black as well, but not like full. So his, his father's black and then his mom is half white, half black. So I don't know how that... You yeah, know, percentage wise, you're watered or, down black. Oh, yeah, yeah. in I'm some way, shape, or form, you got light, black, black skin. In you. <laughs> yeah, facts. But like, I screenshotted it, and he was like, "I was like, so what are we like? I don't even know my dad's side. You know, I know my mom's side. My mom's Irish. Yeah. So, cause she was adopted in New York, cause her her mom's actually from Ireland, but she fled to New York, had my mom, and um, my mom got adopted by, you know, my grandparents. You should do that. Uh, what is that family tree thing where they the twenty one of me, yeah, yeah. 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 They just get in trouble and shit for like they're like selling information or something. I think they. Yeah. Where does that, that answer? Who's or? not selling information these days? Yeah, <laughs> yeah this guy like a fucking like got hit with a big ass lawsuit. I think China's just out here buying all the info. Fuck it. Oh yeah. <laughs> but nah, and then I was so I was talking to my mom and she was like, "Your dad is not black. Your dad has <laughs> no black in you." But then I found out another story because my grandpa that adopted my mom. He didn't, he, he was kind of racist. He didn't, not racist, but he didn't, back then you didn't want other people mixing, you know? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. he's, he's an old school kind of guy, you know what I mean? So I don't know if they, like, tried to play it off like <laughs> my dad was Native American yeah. or Indian or something. Because yeah. he was like, he was he had a uh, dark complexion, but he had the straight hair like a white man, you know what I mean? I got you, got you. So he didn't really look black. But so it was like, like I said, I was Sammy line. Sosa. It's super water. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like <laughs> he bleached his skin, dude. Yeah, right? He's like salmon colored now. Well, yeah, he said I mean, salmon colored. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all just from my cousin. He he told me everything about their their side of the family and all that. So but I haven't talked to them in a minute. So yeah. at, at what age did like music kind of spark your interest? So I ain't gonna lie, my parents would not let me listen to rap until they let me get the Eminem. Well, I didn't even. They didn't even let me get the Eminem CD. Had to sneak that shit. I had somebody. <laughs> somebody gave it to me. Somebody gave it to me, and which, I had to. Which like, one was it? Do you remember? Um, I want to say Encore, but I think that was a little. Yeah. It might have been one of his earlier ones. Encore was like the last one that was decent. I think. I think that's the one that I actually like listened to that actually got me into like okay I like this. Yeah, shit. yeah. But um, yeah, I was. I had uh, one of those little CD players with a Walkman. <laughs> Hell uh, with yeah. the headphones and I'd sneak around and listen to that shit whenever I could. Just to make that us all feel skipping. old right yeah. now. Should be skipping every time you hit a bump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually had to wrap the cord around it because it was all messed up. <laughs> You'd have to catch it on a good note. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I remember one time my dad found my, my Walkman and just like started listening to it and it had fucking Eminem Kim playing. It was like the first thing that started. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, I got reamed for that. Yeah. I got reamed for that. <laughs> now look at you. <laughs> so like after you discovered like rap or hip hop or whatever like like what did you start getting into more of it like so I wasn't ne- necessarily like writing music or doing music I got into music I started listening you know Young Jeezy um, Lil Wayne Fifty um, 
and that's kind of where I started with, and then I just discovered new artists and shit and fell in love. Like, well, shit. so at what point did you start thinking you wanted to make music? Actually, it was like when I was in military school. So I was literally 17. Um, I started writing like little poetry, trying to rap, but it sounded more of like a poet yeah. kind of thing. And then um, I came back from military school and I was messing around at my buddy's studio, but his shit was ass. Like, it was just like a. <laughs> that was probably around the time where like recording yourself was first starting to be a thing. Yeah. Or like even being like it being a like. And the equipment w- was just not it. So it, like I sounded like shit. I didn't. It was like yeah. audacity on yeah. the PC. Yeah. So I was like, eh, never mind. I'm not even going to rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so where do you, uh, where do ahead. you think you get your sound from? Like, how did you come up with, you know, how you flow and how you do things, your cadences? Honestly, I don't even fucking know. I just. Is there anybody sp- that you kind of idolized and was like, all right, I like his flow, but I want to make it my own? Yeah. Like, who are your biggest influences? Yeah. Um, nah, I mean, I just kind of. Just wrote some shit. I mean, I feel like the music you listen to doesn't necessarily reflect like how your music sounds because you listen to a lot of different shit. I listen to a lot of shit like fucking Polo G, All Them Boys, um, some hardcore shit. I mean, I try and do a little bit of that, but then I try and put it into like some love kind of shit, some okay. like you know what I mean, like versatile, just, bro. You do a lot correct. of everything. Yeah, yeah, I try and do a lot of everything. Obviously, I have my own little sound, but I'm trying to venture out and do. Other things. Other things, too. So, going back to what you said, though, military school. How would you end up in military school? Um, So, really, I was just... That was the era when they started doing uniforms and, you know, buckling down on shit like that. Um, And, actually, I just, like, I started smoking weed, just being rebellion, um, acting, just being bad. So, you know, skipping school, not wearing the right uniform. Um, you had to like cover your polo with a sticker and shit, and I wouldn't do that. So, and if you don't, you get you know, you get your bomb or whatever. Somebody has to pay for it at the end of the year. Oh damn! So, so you was like, fuck these rules. At the end of the year, my mom had to owe like one eight one hundred eighty five dollars like God for damn. the school year for fucking not taping your polo. Up. You know how much yeah. money? You know how much money they probably made off of y'all with that oh, shit. Oh man, I swear to God, times that by like. <clears throat> 800 students. <laughs> Dude, my senior year of high school, like, right after that, they started doing uniforms. So, like, yeah. we were still, like, yeah. able to wear whatever the fuck we wanted, pretty much. Yeah. And now it's crazy. It's, like, everyone, like, has uniforms at, like, most schools and stuff. Yeah. Well, what's crazy now is I saw some people, they wearing regular clothes now and shit. Like, you can wear hats. You can fucking wear whatever <laughs> yeah. the fuck you want now. And what yeah. I've noticed is now, since they have to wear uniforms, they, like, accessorize with other things. Like, my daughter's in elementary school, but, like, now all of them have Stanley cups. Oh, yeah. It's, like, their, <laughs> their accessory. Like, I went to lunch at her school, and every kid had a Stanley cup. Fucking Lululemon <laughs> and all kinds of shit. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, nah, so I was just being bad, and then, I, you know, I was skipping school. I literally would, like, skip, like, Four or five days a week. Go smoke some mid. That, that, that basically yeah. was the whole week, Stoop. <laughs> <laughs> he said I would skip like four or five days. Uh, well, you know. Skip it all. I, did. <laughs> well, I go to high school and you go to school high. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll get on the bus just to get, just so my mom would see me get, get on, on the bus. bus. I got you. And then I get to school either leave right just away. Just walk the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> either leave right away or go into like a couple classes. Because, I mean, I wanted to see the females and shit, you know. Yeah. This was high school? Uh, yeah, high school. Yeah. yeah. So your mom was like, I know I put his ass on yeah, the bus. Yeah, what you so, mean he's not there? <laughs> and then I tried to do the whole thing where you like unplug the answering machine before you leave. And shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that call home. Yeah, and then. He was absent for one, and two, then, three, <laughs> four, <laughs> five days of school. And then I fucked up because they had her cell phone number, so it was. So she sent you to military school? Yeah, so uh, I went to a hearing, and they were like, yo, his GPA fucking sucks. You for know? for what, yeah. being truant or whatever? Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Um, my grades sucked. They were like, hey, man, like, you got to go to summer school, all this. And I went to Beaufort in front of all the head people, like, of the county. Mm-hmm. And um, they were like, yeah, we're going to have to expel him, you know, like, we're going to have to kick him Damn. out. So my mom was like, you were like, hell yeah, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> well, yeah, and then, but she was like, all right, you, if you get expelled, I'm sending you to military school. So, uh. yeah, I did that for about a year. Um, but I got my education in there. I got my GED in there. That's cool. Um, and I was one of the 
one of the best in the in the um the whole building. That's Damn. the whole thing. So you think the structure like them being strict helped you? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I needed. You, you know think that I mean? plays a role yeah. in your like work ethic? Yeah, oh yeah, for Probably. sure, for sure. Yeah. But did um, you have like a like a drill instructor like major pain? Yeah, like uh-huh. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think one well, time you gotta wake up early. It's like military. Yeah, yeah. every morning, yeah, do PT. Have your shit organized. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We wake up at five thirty. Everybody take a eight minute shower. Um, do P- well, do PT, then do an eight minute shower. Um, PT is physical training. Um, and then take a shower, go to lunch, uh, go to breakfast, which is a strict twenty five minutes. No talking, nothing. Everybody just, just eat. That's why, you know. yeah, you got your head down, just eating. Um, then you go march. You know, you put the flag up, march yeah. around the whole building. Then you go to school. We had a little school in there. Um, do homework, blah, blah, blah. Go do marching again, and then we'll do, like, drill shit. And then shower up, eat chow, and then yeah. go to bed by 8 o'clock. Not the chow. Yeah. <laughs> the when chow. you got it out of military school, how old were you? Um, 18. So I went in at like seven, yeah, around 17, got out like 18. Was everybody else your age still in school or were they done too? What do you mean? Like, did you finish before like, like people who were going to public school finished? Um, it was about the same time. Yeah. About the same time. So actually I went in, went into military school with a girlfriend, which not going to work. <laughs> no. I, I knew it wasn't going to work, but I was work. like, man, I love you. It was bro. like you were getting, you were getting, you were getting deployed. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I was getting deployed, like I was going on a mission. Or something. Everyone knows how I that goes. coming yeah. back, man. <laughs> I might not come back. <laughs> My leg. You know? So did you have like a plan of like what you were going to do when you got out? Like, Hell no. I just wanted to come back and show my friends and, you know, smoke and have no nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, like, I just didn't want – I thought it was going to be – that's it. That's my life. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, nah, I didn't really have a plan. I knew I had to get a job when I got out. Um, you know, my mom would write me, write me letters and shit. She was like, I'm putting in good words for you over here and here and here. So around here is like, it's all about connections. You know what I mean? So, you right. And my mom's right. been here for so long. She's, she's got a lot Knows of connections. Everyone. Yeah, so she's got connections with like restaurants, um, you know, pool service, you know, techs, all that, maintenance guys. So she kind of like put in a good word before I even got back. She yeah. partied with everyone at Callahan's. And yeah, <laughs> she's like, my son's coming home soon. He needs a job. No. <laughs> so how long after you got done with school and whatever did you start getting into music? Um, Actually, it took me a while. I think it was like I was like 19 or 20 when I – yeah, 19 or 20 is when I first met Sully. Um, my boy Tyshawn brought me in. Shout out to Ty. Um, he was like, bro, you got to check him out. And that was when you had your studio at the house. In my parents' crib. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, and honestly, I was like, I've never even, like, really did some shit, like, perfect. Like, it felt professional in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> Compared yeah. to what I've been doing. So. That was a dope little stew. I, honestly, that was my spot, dude. It was comfortable, for sure. Yeah, and it was a little closer to my house, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So, that was dope. But, um, yeah, nah, in military school, there's a funny story about that. Uh, my it's in Columbia, South Carolina. The military school is so. When we were there, we got to know like the sergeant. Like we kind of became cool. And my roommate was like the biggest dude. He's from um Seabrook, Seabrook, South Carolina. That's like that's my neck of the woods. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's around you. But he was he he lived in Seabrook. Um, but he was a big ass fucking dude. And he was my roommate, so I was like, thank God, because I was going to the military school. I was like, damn, the boy's going to beat me up or something. <laughs> so I get there, and I see this dude in my room, and I'm like, fuck, there's a dude that's going to beat me up. There's a dude that's going to beat me up. You know what I mean? So I had to be cool, you know, and he, he fucked with me heavy because I was right around his way. So, um, but since he was the biggest dude, he would, everybody, like, looked up to him and shit. And the sergeant actually took took an interest in him, like, like okay, you're you're the leader around here, you know what I mean. So he was kind of like our leader besides the sergeant. Yeah. So the sergeant, they would always have somebody sitting there all night because we because there's no doors on our um on our rooms, so they didn't make sure no one would leave the rooms and shit. Yeah. But there was one night we uh, my boy was coming to Columbia for like a for college party and shit. Mm. So we uh, he wrote me a letter. He was like, yo, I'm going to Columbia this day. Um, Blah, blah, blah. So we got a phone call, like, the next day. So I called him. I was like, yo, dude, uh, what's it going to be looking like that weekend? He's like, 
don't don't tell me you're about to run away and fucking come to the party and shit. I was like, I don't know. We're going to work something out. I'll call you back. So uh, uh, my roommate talked to the sergeant was like, hey, man, um, we got this party to go to. It's literally 10 minutes away. He was like, a party? What do, you, what do you think this is? You know what I mean? He was like, come on, man. He was like, all right, I'm going to leave the back door open. Crack. I was like, no fucking way. This dude's about to let us go to a party right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, and he let us take his cell phone. To, like, yeah. Really? Oh, damn. He was in on it yeah, like that. Yeah, he was in on damn, it. Damn, so. he was about to get himself caught up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, he gave us his cell phone and um, wrote a number down to call the all, like his little office phone. Yeah. So, we, we, <laughs> we jet out. And they're... Granted, there's other sergeants walking around from different platoons and yeah. shit. So it's like different, ba- and there's a female side too. So there's other. So you had like special ops. You were out yeah. there, dude. It felt like it felt like some special ops shit. So we're uh, we're ducking and dodging and jumping through uh, bushes and shit. So there's a, a sergeant walking across, and we're just ducking and. Um, his phone rings and it's loud. So we hit the side. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he, we hit the side button real quick. But the sergeant was like looking around. He's like, "What the hell?" And um, I look on the front. It says "wife," and it's like, "Oh shit!" So his wife's calling his phone. Oh. And it, granted, it's like it's probably like one a.m., dude. It's like one a.m. Um, so we're sitting there, and I'm calling my boy like um, on on his phone, and he won't answer. I'm like, "What the fuck, man?" Oh Cause shit! He was. I gave him the address and told him to sit up, sit up, like up the road. Yeah. And uh, he's not answering the phone. I answer the phone. It's like one a.m. And I'm like, damn, he's probably fucked up already. Like, forgot about me and shit. So we sit in the bush for like forty five minutes, waiting on him. Nothing happened. Fucking, we run back in. He was like, damn, that was a quick party. <laughs> I was like, man, my boy didn't even show all up. All this shit for nothing. Yeah, he's like, man, y'all put me through all this shit and didn't even, didn't even get my wife didn't even get no pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't get no pussy. Like, fuck. So whatever happened to your boy, what he said? You ever spoke to him? Yeah, I called him, like, because we got a phone call two or three days later. So I called him. I was like, bro, what the fuck? He's like, my bad, dude. We were all <laughs> he was fucked. getting some pussy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was getting pussy. You were in the bush. That motherfucker was knee deep. Knee deep in something, I bet. But He was in the bush. He was all fucked up. Memories, memories, memories. But, yeah, that was that was a good time that, that day. That's dope, man. It was so, just cool to get out, you know? Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. So tell us about your music, man. Like, tell us what is up next for Stoop. Like, you know what's in, what's hot right now with Stoop. Like, what are you pushing? I mean, I just, I just dropped another video. It's called "No Pressure" by Stoop Kid. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually had this guy come from Charleston to shoot it. Uh, he was coming in for somebody else's video, and uh, my boy was like, "Yo, video man's coming. You want to do it?" And I was like, "Fuck it, let's do it." Um. And I kind of like, I, I like his work, you know, mm-hmm. so it's different, too. It's different. Like, he's got his own look? Yeah, he's got his own little look. You can tell the way he, you know, moves the camera and all his effects and all that shit. So, I was like, yeah, I'm down. So, we did that. Um, we kind of, I wouldn't say rush it, but we had a different idea. And then, you know, plans always fucking fall through. Yeah. Uh, some people didn't show up, so I, we had to kind of improvise and do something else but it turned out pretty good yeah the shit's fire bro but uh yeah yeah it's fire. how was it shooting a video with somebody else because a lot of the videos that we've done you kind of had like a like major role in directing or like yeah. shooting it nah i mean it was cool like he he was he was cool with all my ideas um he put in his own in- input and uh brought his own equipment and all that shit lights fucking stands and shit like that so and he had his own ideas of where to shoot it like lighting wise and yeah you know we we all agreed on shit like that so now you, cool. you you shot some other artists movie i'm making movies uh music videos as well we can call them movies well yeah <laughs> movies, yeah, 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 you, yeah you, shot yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you shot their visuals you shot their visuals but you shot them like do you like being behind the camera or in front of the camera like which one more kind of honestly i i like being behind the camera like mm-hmm. um you be getting into it. I I do get into it because yeah. I I I look at it as how I would want my video to be. Okay. I want the cameraman to be active and you know. Yeah, I'll be turn. I'll turn around and then all of a sudden Stoops fucking leaking sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah he be yeah. into that yeah. shit. Sweating, right? I'll be on the floor. I'll be getting like yep. angles. Shit. Like, That's the way you gotta be. I'll be, be in a man. tree. Like uh, <laughs> I'll be in a yeah. tree. <laughs> but now nah, getting like, ridiculous requests from artists too. Like. <laughs> 
It'll be pouring rain. They're like, we're gonna get, just get this shot out here. Oh, yeah, in the fucking downpour. Where was that at? <laughs> in Ridgeland. Ridgeland, yeah. Tell them, tell, tell them to leave you a deposit before you go in that rain. <laughs> no, we like had to improvise a garbage bag over the camera. I'm pretty sure. And it was windy as fuck too. Like, <laughs> yeah. The garbage bag is going yeah, well, in front of the lens. At a dock uh, at the oh, end shit. of like this 20 mile road. <laughs> like, yeah. But uh, nah, yeah. I mean, I, I like being behind the camera. That shit's just fun to me. Yeah. Um. Obviously, in front of the camera is dope too. You ever direct your own music videos? Uh, I mean, <laughs> somewhat. I feel like most of them. Yeah. I mean, they're all kind of like, like all, never, all but the newest one. I feel like we kind of be, like did together, direct, like as far as directing, like we. As far as directing, most of the artists don't know what they really want. Yeah. So they're yeah. like, "Yeah, I want." Well, A they, lot of it's run and gun. Yeah. So it was like, I mean, we did what we could with what we had. Yeah, um, we uh, it's a lot of like improv, like on the spot. Like we look at the scene, scene. We look at yeah, it. We scene. look at it, and we're like, scene. okay, we can shoot here, 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 and then he gets crazy with the angles. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but and then like you know some artists they like let's shoot right here, and I'm like the lighting sucks. Like we can't mm. do it here. Like we gotta. They don't have like that bit. natural eye yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it looks dope in a sense, but the camera's just not gonna pick up what what you Correct. really want. Yeah, I think I think that's a lot of a big issue with artists. Like they always say, "Oh, you know, let's shoot here, let's shoot there, let's shoot." Here. We can't for this reason, and being that they don't understand it, yeah. they feel like, "Oh, you trying to take over my video? Well, you want your video to look good? <laughs> you yeah, want to? Yeah. You know what I'm saying?" Like I feel like 95 percent of the videos we've shot, they've not given a single fuck about what we did. They were like, "Y'all just shoot the video, make it look good." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But you gotta you gotta think too. Sometimes they'll be like, "Man, this video sucks." I'm like, "Cause it's, you wanted this area." Like I don't yeah. know, like. It's That's you true. and twenty five of your homies pointing guns at Stoop while yeah. shooting video. Yeah. Like, yeah. And to be honest, that shit's sketchy too. I mean, obviously you gotta tell them to take the clip out or yeah, make you know, sure that shit, for shit sure. like that. But some I ain't gonna lie, there were some times where I I bet money their clip was full, you know what I mean? Oh so, yeah. Yeah. You're like holding the camera out as far Listen, away from 80, you as possible. And, and eighty five percent of them don't even really know how to shoot or yeah, shit. That's what scares me. Scary bro. As shit. Well, Anybody yeah. can have I guarantee a gun. you if you look in that video, there's there's yeah. there, everybody's figures on the trigger. Mm -hmm. It's not on the side where it should no, you know what no, I'm saying? No, like yeah. they never had training, they don't know yeah, how to hold no. it. Did you see they just passed that law, the open carry shit? I did actually. So now it's open carry here without a license, like, and carry, like yeah. a lot of states, but with no it's license 18. and there's no restrictions on carrying it in your car. Like you can have it anywhere. Yeah, the only thing you that. can't do is have one in the head. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unless you have a uh, concealed weapon. But look at this. Twenty nine. I was. I had screenshotted it. Twenty nine permanent ca permanent carry states. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh -huh. That's crazy. They're getting ready for the Russians to come, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they want all of us. That they red like, dawn shit. They're slowly like putting everybody as a fucking military well, person. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> no license needed, y'all. Y'all gonna get y'all guns. Yeah. Get ready. All these wars, none of them have ever taken place here. But yeah. that might be why, because we're all everyone. You never armed. know. Yeah, you never know. You never well, know. You'll definitely know when like those states that like, don't want the guns become you know oh, yeah. legal. Yeah. That's when you know some shit's about to go down. When New they York let, will never be legal. I was just about Cali. to say that. If they let New York run crazy like it like they do out here, that's when you know some shit is going down. Nah, Marshall, New York uh, though. Because like, I think New York and Cali is like the hardest places to get your license. And I think Chicago too. Chicago too? Yeah. yeah. You can't own a pistol there unless you like have a class like three yeah you gotta like, be like super yeah. certified to actually yeah, yeah. I think new york you have, is you like, like you gotta a you, you gotta be walking out like with a certain amount of money every day yeah. from your mm -hmm. business exactly just to have that like, my yeah, pops yeah. had one in new york because he had mm -hmm. a restaurant so he would be like leaving with the cash at the end of the night you know but if yeah. you get caught with a pistol that's like serious charges up there like yeah but everyone still got one that's what's crazy yeah. oh yeah it's oh, easy yeah, to get a pistol. I know people that used to buy them here and go to New York and sell them. You could, you could still do didn't that now, man. You go to New yeah. York, you sell it for triple the amount. Didn't it oh, say wow. with no bullets? Yeah. <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> they they do that with cigarettes too because they're so cheap didn't here. They say it was eighteen yeah, tobacco and over now for guns. What's that? I don't remember. It, it's oh, always yeah. been eighteen, but it's twenty one to purchase a pistol oh, bad, from bad, a bad. from a store. But you could purchase it from a private seller mm. at eighteen still, and that's what's fucked up too. The loopholes, like yeah. But yeah, you can buy it, but you could you 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 weren't allowed to like. Like walk my homie could go buy a pistol, you can't wait three months, it, and then sell it to me if I was eighteen. But I can't go to the store and buy it myself. Correct. That's correct. Yeah, because that's what I was doing when I was like eighteen. My homie yeah. would buy it, he'd transfer it to my name like six yeah. months later. What a know? fucking loophole, huh? 
Bruh. Hey, you know, speaking of guns and stuff, but you know, you know what I purchased the other day, Sully? Uh-huh. To put on my AR, a fucking flamethrower. No Bruh. fucking way. They what? sell them. They sell them at <laughs> yo at Palmetto State yeah. Army. I'm in there. I was buying some bullets, and I'm just looking around. They like, have a mini chainsaw that goes like, at the end of the. Where does it? Where does it connect? Yeah. On the bottom. Yeah. yeah it's just like a rail. Like if you put a rail on the slide. Yeah. And it has a little tank or whatever, and then separate button, and That's you just press, and it's a fucking flame. They have a yeah. You're gonna survive yeah, you the can, zombie apocalypse. 100%. Yeah, but you can use it like without your gun, but it has the connection yeah. for the rail. You have snow in your driveway. So I want to use this shit for like a music. Like I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, yo, this would be dope for like be a music video or some with shit. The AR, you know? just melting Jeez. snow. So yeah, see me burning <laughs> some motherfucker up when they like. No, they have a mini chainsaw that goes on there too, and it's yeah. like zombie themed. That's like. dope. That's dope. You never know when you might need a mini chainsaw. And that shit was only like two eighty nine. It wasn't even That's like some bad. crazy. Yeah. Dude, what are people gonna do if Russians just start dropping out the sky? Or zombies? I don't know. I know like twenty <laughs> people that have like an arsenal in their house. So, yeah. I better learn an accent and be like vodka. Yeah. <laughs> you you could pass for it. <laughs> yeah, pass for it. <laughs> Definitely could pass for it. Everyone's stocking up on guns. You just stock up on vodka. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's it. Yeah. So stoop, man. How does that? Uh, how does that wheel behind you look? Huh? How's that wheel behind said, huh? you? Uh, the wheel. Don't forget about <laughs> huh? Hey, he, he used to host the show, bro. Huh? He, he know about yeah, the wheel, right? <laughs> Is that what we're gonna do right now? Not right now. Not right now. But before it's we do that, I ain't gonna lie. I was I was practicing early on it. Um, he was practicing. <laughs> he was practicing. <laughs> I was practi- up in his wheel spinning skills. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm good with I'm good with anything on there. Actually, all right. He's I'm actually he, the hot sauce that's on there. He's actually he's he's tried it before. I yeah. did it for shits and giggles. Yeah. yeah. For dope. shits and giggles, literally, like in the kitchen, <laughs> randomly. Yeah, that's dope. close to shitting, but how hot was of it? Giggles. Hot shit. Oh, dude, it was it was fucking hot, bro. I was I was sweating instantly, instantly. That shit um, make your throat feel like it's like swelling up, like can't, like dude, closing up. Yeah, I'm not good with hot shit. I was we were kind of under the, under the influence. So. TJ ate that shit like it was nothing. Mm. He was really? just like dipping chicken. In I it. think he did the it a hell? couple times that night. Dude, he ate the one chip challenge, and he was like, I could have done a whole bag of them. Fucking shits, TJ like, is. Jeez. It's uh, fucking no, yeah, he's something else, dude. I, don't I think know. that was during the first season, though. Is there is there a chip challenge on there? No, but that sauce is the same uh, Scoville units as the one chip challenge. Same caliber. Yeah, <laughs> you're lucky the chocolate's gone because that was nine times hotter than the. See, I think I can handle it going down, being hot. Is when it's coming out. Oh yeah. That's oh yeah, it's gonna be the same. Worse. The same heat. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like, bro, that's your butthole. Man. The ring of fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big's homeboy threw up that night. Buddy who ate that chocolate, he threw up. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. Some of that shit's just too high. I bet that like, that's a flamethrower right there. That is a yeah. yeah. <laughs> flamethrower. All right, so before we get into spin the block, yeah. we're gonna cut to Bishop with real talk. When we get back, Stoop's gonna do some crazy shit. <laughs> All right, Playboy Bishop, man, we back with another one. We here on Real Talk. Who I got with me? We got your boy, man, man, man. We got man, man with us. You know what the fuck going on, man. Tap in, man. All right, so I got a couple questions for you. First question is, what's your instant turn off from a female? Instant turn off on a female. Uh, shit, let me see. When she be on the phone with other people, when we together, you know, like, a bitch that's always or like on the phone chilling, type yeah, shit. like, so. Yeah, like, what the fuck on that phone type shit? I feel you, I feel you, all right, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. What's a turn on? Some shit you like, yeah, well, I need that. What's a turn on? A turn on? Yeah. Let me see. That's kind of hard. Turn on for a female. Yeah, ain't too many shit that turn you on from a female. Bitch got to try hard with you right there. I mean, I don't know, like, be able to, like, hold a conversation or something, like, or be real about something. Okay. You know? Okay, 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 okay. I can feel you. I can feel you. I can feel you. Yeah. Who you think lie more, men or women? Women for sure, they be sneaky. They be, they be real sneaky. <laughs> they m- manipulators. Well, I right, bet, bet. Since you say that, what you think the most sneakiest sign is? Like zodiac most sign. Sneakiest sign. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. 
know. Maybe Sagittarius. Sagittarius? Probably. All right. Watch out for them Sagittarius. I don't even know too much about the signs, but, hey, you heard it from Man Man. Yeah. All right. So, oh, the last question. What's something you'll tell a youth out there that's watching, man? Something I'd tell the youth is never give up on what you focus on. Keep grinding. Stay out of the way. Stay positive. And, yeah, man. You All know. good shit. All good shit, man. I appreciate the interview, man. Yeah. And it's my birthday. Turned 23 today. Happy birthday to my dog, man. You know what the fuck going on. Uh-huh. What that is? Pisces? Pisces. Uh, shout out Follow to Pisces, my Instagram, man. underscore, man from the eight. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Tap in, man. Follow my boy, man. We here on Real Talk, man. Playboy Bishop TV. We going up. Welcome back to Stay Up Late Night, a new kind of late night. It's your boy, Steve Kid. You about to spin the block? I'm trying to. That nigga Sully going stupid. <laughs> All right, so what would you, what do you want to get, like, if, if you had to choose one, what would you want? Uh, Call your mom from jail? Nah, hell nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm kick my ass. <laughs> um, probably, I could do karaoke. I kind of want to do karaoke. Hey, I'd oh, like to, that, that'd be fun to watch. What is, what is the candy cane challenge? Dude, I got some candy canes that are sour cream and onion flavored. Ew, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> dude, a dude literally just tried it and threw up, oh, like, Chris. moments before this. Here we go. Somebody tell me what it is. Uh, tell me what it is. <laughs> so we need, like, music when it's, when it's spinning. Karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. He got oh, karaoke. Hey. Bro, every time somebody says that, what they want, they manifest that shit. I swear <laughs> to God. Okay, so pick one of us to choose the song you karaoke. Um, Does it say host choice or guest choice? Host choice. I'm going to go with Campfire Tyler, man. Dude, I feel like you're going to get a good karaoke he's, song out of him. <laughs> Fuck. That's all, like, just like when anybody asks you, like, what's your favorite song? You forget every song you've ever known. <laughs> Freebird. No, what song Free you want bird. him to karaoke? I want him to do the Humpty Dance. Do the Humpty Dance. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this nah. is a, a dance do, battle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass it. I'm going to pass it to my man over here. What you got? You want me to do it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm not a I'm good I'm Carey I... song. Oh, shit. <laughs> <I'm Mariah> <laughs> dedicated, <laughs> to your, <laughs> dedicated to your dad. <laughs> Daddy wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> take me to the fair. That would be fucking fire. <laughs> I'm just letting you know it's not going to be rap because I want you to that's be out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All right, no, bet, yeah, bet. yeah, that's fine. All right, so we're going to go with something that everybody knows is obviously a classic. We're gonna go with Lincoln Park, Numb. Oh my God. Numb. No. Okay. Yeah. You, you know it. I know it. I I don't. I know of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. Y'all got lyrics or what? <laughs> no, you're just gonna have to like do the whole song. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say like, what the fuck? Hold up. Daddy wasn't there. <laughs> you may have to pull up the lyrics because I don't. I don't. Uh, hold up. We're gonna cut to a commercial break, and when we get back, Stoop's gonna sing us a song. <laughs> that nigga Sunny going stupid. Welcome to Stay Up Late Night, a new type of late night. We got our boy Stoop Kid still here. He is about to do karaoke. Oh, shit. To the classic song, <laughs> Linkin Park, <laughs> Numb. You got me Everybody out. knows that song. I don't care what kind of genre of music you like. Everybody knows this song. So I think I think Stoop is going to do good with this. What you think? What do you, <laughs> you got me out of my, You got I me think. out of my elements. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good karaoke choice because yeah. that's how you want it to be. You don't want to sing some shit you're very like familiar exactly, with and exactly. sound good singing. Exactly. Yeah. 
So, Sully, whenever you're ready, Stoop, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the stage. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm on background vocals. <laughs> Tired of being what you want me to be. <laughs> Feeling so faithful, lost under the surface. I don't know what you're expecting of me. Putting on the pressure in your, your shoes. shoes. <laughs> Come on, you got this. I don't got this shit. It's another mistake to you. Let's just make it a whole thing. Caught in the undertow. Become so numb. You gotta, you I gotta can't put the feel voice. Put the voice there. into it. <laughs> Hell nah, new one. Let me get another one. <laughs> it's harder than what it looks man, like, right? Way harder. That's, that's a fucking. Man. That's a tough song. That shit's a doozy, man. <laughs> what What would you want to karaoke if you had to? Um. You have a go-to karaoke song? Or nah, you? Nah, I never really. Hey do there, Delilah. <laughs> What's that one? Um, I could buy myself flowers. That shit. What's a good one? I knew I was gonna fuck that one up. How about the one? How about the the journey? Don't stop. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Fuck, I know that one. Who doesn't? Oh shit! Oh shit! Karaoke. Karaoke. Oh, welcome. Shitty walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold up the. Don't hey. Stop believing. While we wait on this to load, everybody a subscribe. From our sponsor. Subscribe and hit that bell button. Do it. Ba -boom. Dink. <laughs> cue, cue the Taco Bell bell sound. <laughs> Doom. Mm-hmm. Somebody had me add that in a song the other day. No. All right. Don't stop queefing. <laughs> said don't. Hold on oh, to your britches, shit. baby. <laughs> we should just do parody songs. <laughs> You're the king of parodies. Dude, why do I just be coming up with parodies off top? All right. I can't feel my face when I drink juice. No, I can't feel my teeth when I drink <laughs> juice. <laughs> but I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Are you believing? I'm trying to, man. Sing, King. Karaoke. Don't stoop stop, Kid, really. live from the stoop. <laughs> hey. Hey. They were probably jamming this in fucking Callahan's. Oh, all, every <laughs> night, every night. This is like the end of the year song for Hilton Head Island rain. when all the Man. tourists are going home. Just a small town girl <laughs> <laughs> living in a lonely world. Hey, Wait. <laughs> took a midnight train going anywhere. <laughs> Wait. Just just a city boy, <laughs> born and raised in South Detroit. Hey, he took the midnight train going anywhere. Yeah. A hey. fucking bop. Kick a freestyle. No. Uh, <laughs> easy to fall. I'm gripping. <laughs> uh, uh. Guitar hitting. Journey. Okay, that's Singer in a smoky room. <laughs> Smell of wine and cheap perfume. <laughs> For a smile, it can't stand. Stranger. Up and down the boulevard. <laughs> Searching. Searching in, in the, the night. night. <laughs> I'm better with the crew. <laughs> Street lights, people 
living just to find emotion. I there somewhere. <laughs> nice. We just gotta get through the hook. Hey, oh hey, boy. Hey, hey. Don't stop believing anybody who's watching this. <laughs> Working hard to get my film. <laughs> Everybody. Every, wants you're, you're early. Paying anything to roll the dice just one more time. I'm usually we drunk. got you, Stu. I'm usually <laughs> drunk. Some will lose. Some were born to show their boobs. <laughs> Never ends. It goes on and on and hey, on hey, and hey, on. Hey, 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 hey. Strangers waiting up and down the boulevard. <laughs> we miss the words, fellas. We miss the words, fellas. <laughs> you know I can't read. <laughs> you gotta follow the blue. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta follow the blue. I'm colorblind, man. I feel like the hook is taking forever. <laughs> Somewhere in the night. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Fucking shred. It's my shit. Two <laughs> minutes, two minutes shred. I think, I think Stoop got to stick to his three jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw the auto tune on there. <laughs> oh shit. We got you on background singer. Don't stop yeah. believing. Okay. <laughs> Hold on to that feeling. I apologize to yeah. everybody. That was awesome. I think I'm going to start singing now. Did you say awesome or awful? <laughs> I said awesome. <laughs> I think it was awesome, man. That was awful. That was horrible, man. Dude, fire, fire stoop kid Top for your... five worst things I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> hire stoop for your sweet 16. I think stay up late night just went viral off of that had to be, bro. Fuck. Hey. You saw it here. Hey, let's pick a new one. No. <laughs> let's pick a new one. Da 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 you want to spin it again? Just to see what happens. Oh, you got to do it, whatever land. <laughs> yeah. It better not be you sold your soul. man. I <laughs> again. <laughs> World's most sour candy. Oh, oh my God. God. Bro, what, did wow. say? what did I say about manifestation? We manifested that earlier before <laughs> Listen, the show. Listen, before the show started, <laughs> me and Stu were talking about eating this candy together. We got to. And Sully said... No, wait. There's a ghost and let's in here. see if when he spins it, it lands on it. And look what the hell just happened. There's a fucking ghost in here. Why are you spun that shit the second oh, time? Man. Dude, it's too broad a ghost with him. up and leaving right I now. I had to, man. I brought the ghost. I think, I, I, I hey, think. While, we're, while you're eating that sour candy and we're talking about ghosts, tell us the ghost story. The ghost story. Should we eat it and talk? Or... Hey, <laughs> okay. I yeah, think, exactly. I, think I, I think we should all have a piece of it. Yeah, yeah, come on. I think we should just switch it up for this show and let's eat it with him. I just, I'm doubting my face. I, I just want to see. Crunch it like uh, a uh, 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 That was like so my you're strep- not the only one with excuses like today. Sp- let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> that was like my strep throat excuse. Hold up. Look, who has his? If y'all can see here. What, this is, what are those, yeah, warheads? That's that's basically, yeah. but more sour. More sour than warheads? So, Campfire, you ready? It's called. Oh, I don't have one. I got to give him one. It's called Toxic Toxic Waste. Yeah, toxic weight. Black cherry. And it says hazard. Oh, man. Uh, Hazardously. You want apple or candy. black cherry? Uh, Black cherry. Damn, I got lemon. Say yeah, apple like... while you hold your tongue. No, I'm just <laughs> apple. 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 Oh, that way. Damn. Apple. That was like throwback to fucking elementary <laughs> school, dude. I'm looking on the ingredients yeah. on this bitch. <laughs> it's like fucking it's toxic waste. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's from Indiana. Cyanide. But children yeah, under like three. Oh, Mother look, it says made in Pakistan. It's oh, literally no. a, it's a choking <laughs> hazard. Yeah. Dude. It's literally called toxic waste. All right, so are we going Ridiculous. on like three? Oh, hold on. Let me open it. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. This just looks like a fucking urinal cake. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it's really wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's toxic. 
It's toxic. We should play Britney Spears toxic <laughs> while we do this. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! hey. Jinx. Manifest. Jinx, you got to spin again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Dude, this it looks so good. Does it? I don't know. I think like it doesn't look bad. But then I, I got, got the food. lemon. Looks like a cough drop. Yeah. Are we ready? Well, are you ready? On three. Earl's most sour candy. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go. Bottoms up. I don't know about this. <laughs> not that bad yet. It's not even sour. Yeah. I'm getting worse. <laughs> I was starting to make my cheeks hurt. <laughs> like burn. <laughs> this shit ain't bad. My mouth watering like a motherfucker. ASMR <laughs> real quick. <laughs> it's called mukbang if you do it with food. Mm. Dude, my mouth is watering that bad so hard. Though. No. I'm going to give my girl one of these. No. <laughs> 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 I did like it was hot. <laughs> does it does it get like sweet at the end like warheads? Like I don't know, or does it just suck the whole time? That's not bad at all. It's really not. My daughter be running I warheads, think warheads under the faucet. Worse. Yeah, that's right? what I was gonna say. Worse. Mm-hmm. Why did Buddy earlier act like that shit was so sour? I was gonna make you roll the dice and see how many you had to eat. Like <laughs> oh, pop six of them hoes in there. <laughs> nah, that's not bad. It's no, already it's finished. Already it's sweet already. already yeah, mine's already done. Yo, this shit ain't even sour. Spin again. <laughs> hey. hey, you on your own on this one <laughs> I think the record is like three <laughs> Prank all your mom from jail <laughs> It's like the spicy shit Spit a freestyle, Spit a freestyle. <laughs> He's style getting all the good free. ones <laughs> Thanks You want a candy cane? No <laughs> <laughs> Try that candy cane shit I want to eat a bug I want to eat a bug Do you? Kinda. I got one that, no- <laughs> that everyone's scared <laughs> <laughs> Another carrier, man. I suck at karaoke, man. You guys just heard my voice. You, you I didn't keep spinning that. Let, let, let him eat the bug. Yeah, I want to eat the bug. Yeah, eat the bug. You're, Give them you're voluntarily bug. eating a bug. Yeah, man. He's I like mean, he's like what the second person to do Martin, that for science. And then I Zay eat, and I, and fucking third ball trap all eat bugs. I haven't eaten a bug in a while. Even so. uh, what's the name that was just on here? Had the scorpion claw or yeah, something? Zay. Yeah, yeah. And Zay. Then last night, uh, trap ate a fucking beetle. Wait. Stoop, do you care which, what bug it is? Uh, surprise me. I got a surprise for you. I, <laughs> this did not say I'm chewing it. It's good now. Yeah. It's actually good. So do you want this one? Yeah, let's do it. Shut up. Let's do it. This guy's been in here marinating for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Spit a freestyle while you eat the bug. You, <laughs> <laughs> you got any? Hey, Dan- keep it you interesting. Got, you got any Danos? <laughs> <laughs> In the words of Bishop, we got the good bugs. <laughs> High quality grasshoppers. Mm-hmm. High quality H two O. I like the bad bugs. Gatorade. Oh Jesus! Jesus Christ, what the dude. fuck? <laughs> what is that? That's a fucking. Is that a cicada? Like, <laughs> it's actually oh, it's oh, a water oh. it's a water scorpion. A what? Its head is still in the bag. Oh but. shit. A water Hold on, scorpion. I gotta get that. Bitch be crunchy, That's a two biter, dog. Hold on. Well, definitely he's a two biter. All these other he's bugs about to are eat one biter. Let me dog. see it. Let me see. Turn it around. Turn it around. Oh, look at it. Look. Yeah. <laughs> hey, send me that. <laughs> so we have a close up. Uh, hey, show it to the camera, Stoop, oh, over there. God. That's that a thing, big one. Uh, that thing's pregnant. Whenever you're ready. This thing's pregnant. There we go. Oh, God, no. You want some hot sauce on it? No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right. two challenges. He's in knocking one. out every challenge on the wheel tonight. Ready, set. Oh, the oh, crunch! Oh, oh the dude. crunch! Two ah, biter. Ah. It tastes like nothing. Should sound like styrofoam. You have, you have something to wash it down. This shit kind of like stale. <laughs> 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 That's an old bug. <laughs> you checked the expiration you on that no, shit. You don't got no fresh <laughs> bugs. It tastes like that. Um. That little chip you get at church. <laughs> Not a <little> communion. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He said the chip you get at church. You got, you got the Christ of blood with you? <laughs> you mean <laughs> the fucking body of Christ? <laughs> you mean the body of Christ? He said, you know, the chip you get. Like, what the I got the blood of Christ in this hot sauce bottle, too. Hilarious, oh man. God. Hilarious. How was it? I almost threw up. <laughs> Did you? You'll see it. <laughs> What does it taste like? It's still crunching. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes like... A bug? <laughs> <laughs> like dog food with grass. Damn, dog food. They probably ate grass. Was it, was it, was it, was it, it wet like at all? No. Dry as fuck. Would you add that into your diet? 
<laughs> you want a mozzarella stick? It's lots of protein, down. bro. <laughs> if I can get some abs, yeah, hell yeah. You go bro. fucking hit the gym after this. <laughs> Camp, give him a mozzarella stick. <laughs> he deserves they, that. They bro. say that bugs are a high source of proteins. I, think I got a, a leg in there. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Keep that shit in. There. Damn. So we didn't even talk about it though. But before we wrap this up, let let's talk about the shit we were talking about earlier with the medium. Yeah, let me get this down first. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Is it in your teeth? Mm-hmm. At least it wasn't like like fresh, like guts and shit. Oh yeah, I think, de- that, I think that's worse. Yeah, you think? Like with the guts in it? Yeah, no, definitely. Because yeah. yeah. you're eating like everything Honestly, in those. Dude, think about how many bugs have crawled in your mouth throughout your lifetime while you're sleeping. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> they say you eat about like yeah, like, eight spiders. Like, yeah, I, I remember night, reading some shit. Every night you eat. Oh, a night? Oh, I thought it was a year. <laughs> <laughs> you eat like one every night. Spiders <laughs> you're get on a fuck. Spider <laughs> diet. You don't even know. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie. If it had the guts in it, it might have went down smoother. If it had the che- <laughs> if it had the seasoning. Oh shit! I think you should do that, like where you do like the bug with the hot sauce, so it's like wet. It, it would be way better. Yeah. I got cheddar cheese flavored bugs. The hell? Yeah, I got. Let the- me tr- let me try one real quick. Uh, dude, you would, we got you time? gonna leave here? Full. We got time. Are you gonna leave here full? <laughs> you gonna leave here full? <laughs> shit, I'll save Fuck some money. Hakuna on food. Matata, flipping over and eating the grubs, man. Let me give you a candy cane. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> like, like Christmas. Oh. Like Christmas. <laughs> it's an early Christmas Ooh. gift. That was a bug, guys. Don't make me pop open the new bug. That was like the <laughs> biggest bug I ever ate. <laughs> How many? <laughs> what's the smallest bug? <laughs> uh, fucking roly poly. <laughs> Those shits are good. Yeah. Do they still exist? Yeah. It's I like lightning one. bugs. Where are they all at? I about to eat a bug day. over there right now. <laughs> yeah, I saw a little, a little <laughs> gnat flying around. I was about to, uh, <laughs> about I was about to frogger it. <laughs> he's, uh, he's like, for my cousin. <laughs> Dude, but for real, what happened to the lightning bugs? Dude, like, I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw him before um, a little while ago. About a week ago. I'm sure you're <laughs> 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 hey, there's a candy cane on your right. Oh, shit. But while, while you indulge, tell us this medium story. All right. Um, what kind of candy cane is this, though? It's mystery flavored. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Anyway, uh, medium story. So, yeah. So, my mom, she, my, my mom's uh, father passed away. And it was, it's been probably 12, 12 years now. And she has a friend that knows a, knows a medium. She's from New York. So, she actually flew down here. And um, because we had a big group, so she she wasn't gonna do it for just one or two people, you know, mm-hmm. it's not enough money. So we had a big group come. So she actually flew to South Carolina, and uh, my mom had uh, like six, seven people over. And I don't really believe in mediums. I at first I didn't, and so I was I was just coming there just to see how people would react, you know. Mm-hmm. I wasn't actually gonna do it. Was she hot? No, I'm just <laughs> she was, dude. She was feeling me too. Damn. <laughs> well, she's married, but she she would have risked risked it all. She was about to tell you about all the ghosts, you know. <laughs> but nah. So she she walks in the door. She um, introduces herself, and you know, I, I actually gave her a hug, and she <laughs> felt she felt my vibe. She like was she, feeling you. <laughs> that's what she was like. Oh, you're so cute. I was like, nah, I don't say cute. <laughs> my mom's here. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like, chill. <laughs> But nah, so she gave me a hug and she was like, she like started tearing up. Was like, I feel, I feel the pain. Like I can feel it, you know, because obviously my grandpa, uh, my cousin, a few friends passed away. Actually, it was pretty recent too that a couple friends passed away. So was it just you that she had that reaction to? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, she felt other people's shit, but not like mine was like the heaviest, you know. Your shit was the heaviest. <laughs> <laughs> she felt my shit. It was the heaviest. That's what they all say. <laughs> He's black from the waist down. <laughs> 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 all right. So, so like, what happened? Yeah. So, like, so anyway, we um, we're doing uh one one by one. So I was like, man, I'm not doing this. So, uh, my mom went first. It was like 30 minutes each. So you walk in. Sounds like a bachelor party. No, I'm just, I'm just right. <laughs> Honestly, it was all women and then me. So, I mean. Damn. I felt like it. <laughs> Usually like that anyway. But anyway, uh, so she went in, came out. She was she was bawling. Like, she was crying. Um, I was like, how was it? She was like, I can't even explain it right now. So she went out, you know. You told me almost everybody was crying when they walked out. Everybody, everybody. So, you know, one by one, the next person came out. 
crying. Mm-hmm. Next they person went in. Make people cry for crying. a living. Yeah, I was like, damn. Yeah. But uh, so, and then this one girl went, the last girl went, she came out and was like, because her dad just passed away. So mm. she, it, she was like scared to go in because she didn't want to hear shit like that. Mm. And this girl, she lives in Bluffton. Like, we barely even know her. She's just like a friend of a friend. Mm-hmm. And so the lady literally had no clue who she was, what she was about, who passed, what she was feeling. So she went in, came out. She said, dude, she said she hit everything on the head, like, from my dad to his brother to, like, even people. With that, you? No, with the, the girl, the last girl that went. So she <clears throat> she um hit everything on the head, like, from people like she never even met, like yeah. her her aunts and uncles and all that too. Not That's to cut cool. you off, but like, was there anybody who wasn't like satisfied, like who didn't get the result they were looking skeptical? For? Or, so yeah. so there was like, <clears throat> she was bringing up people that they didn't even really know like that. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't really necessarily family. It was like like close to them, close, uh, kind of mm-hmm. close to them, but they she didn't really even know them. So they came out was like, eh, I mean, I didn't really get what I wanted to hear because like. They weren't talking about the person that they wanted to hear from. And bitch, maybe you ain't got no ghosts. (laughs) That's true. Oh, ghostless ass. So so anyway, we've been drinking already. It's been like three hours. And I was like, I'm already kind of tipsy. And I was like. Let's go talk to ghosts. (laughs) So I was like, I kind of want to see what this is about, you know. So she was like, you sure you don't want to go? Like, I'll do you for free. And I was like. (laughs) Yeah. So I was like. Sure. (laughs) She's going to ghost you afterwards. Be careful. (laughs) I was like, yeah, go ahead and suck the ghost out of me. <laughs> <laughs> the but, power of Christ compelled <laughs> Remove the ghost through my she dick. gave me one of those chips. No. <laughs> you know, one of those chips, right? <laughs> <laughs> one of the, the Christ, the the Christ cookies. Yeah. <laughs> the Christ cookies. The chips. Yeah, yeah, wrong, the chips, man. The chips of joy. Yeah, wrong, man. Oh, man. Yeah, it's fucked up. Dude, I always said <laughs> mushrooms tasted like communion. <laughs> so random, but it's the body of Christ, for sure. <laughs> yeah, thanks. you get anyway, spiritual. Go God ahead. Bless. So yeah, so she was like, "Yeah, um, I'll do it for free if you want to go." And I was like, "Fuck!" I was kind of scared, but I was like, "Also, I don't believe in that shit." So I go in there, and I didn't tell her anything about me. She didn't ask like too much questions about me. She just she literally had. So if. If, what was um, the first thing she said? So like she, when she, she when it started, these, she she has these two metal things, mm-hmm. and they kind of like she just brings them back and forth and like kind of catching energy. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. So she starts. She's like she's got a candle lit. It's dark in there. The afterlife it's antenna. Like a seance almost. Or like Con- I don't know not- what that is. <laughs> <laughs> like she was like, trying was to like say, she was trying know. to like bring the spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. in Beetlejuice. Yeah. So that's basically, <laughs> that's basically how she brings them in. She's got like, these two metal things and she waves them and um. She's like, so you have, um, there's somebody here. He's he's really, he's he's all over you. Like, he's always around you. And I was like, okay. And um, she was like. <laughs> okay. <he's, laughs> he, she was like, he's he's kind of strong, you know, handsome, handsome man. And I was like, well, I wouldn't call my cousin handsome. But, I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not gay. But, nah. Anyway, uh, so she, she was like, yeah, he's. He's really around you. Like, he, he says he's your brother. She was like, do you have a brother? And I was like, nah. She was like, well, he says he's not family, but he's like a brother, you know? And then she starts, like, describing him. She's like, um, he he says he works out a lot. He's got tattoos, blah, blah, blah. Um, we used to smoke weed together and shit. And she doesn't know that I used to smoke weed. But she's shit. describing your cousin. like Yeah, she's literally describing him to a T. Do you think she was like leaving the door open for you to like give her hints? I, you, I didn't. I didn't say anything. Just you were like, okay. I was just sitting there listening. I literally was just sitting there listening. You we were looking was, at a rack. No, I'm just. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but. Um, but she was on point, though. She was on point, yeah. So, and then she was like, "Yeah." Um, he says, "What what resonated with me is she was like, don't don't get a tattoo for me because I was just about to get a tattoo because he passed away, so I was about to get a tattoo for him. Mm. He was like, don't even don't even worry about getting a tattoo. So she said that's what he was yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And then um, me and him, because his dad, because like I said, my uncle, he opened that, that pizza shop. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, me and him were talking about opening our own shop. You know, his dad was yeah. going to help us fund it and open up a shop. And she was like, he was like, he said, don't even worry, my, uh, my dad's going to open one soon and shit. 
and this is this was months before it happened. No, no, hell no. He just opened it up when I did the medium. This was two years ago. Oh wow. Oh shit. You know what I mean? So obviously it took some time, but yeah, he, he yeah, literally yeah. just opened up a pizza shop. So like all this shit, shit was fire so weird. too. At, at, yeah, it is fire. Yeah. Shout out to Ralphie's. Go yeah, check shout out to Ralphie's. Go check it out. Riverwalk. But at what point did like shit get real and like you start getting emotional? So what what got real was like he was he was saying like I'm with you all the like it's 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 hard to explain like it's fucking fuck now I'm losing train of thought I'm trying to is the ghost with in the room with you right now. No, what what was crazy is he's always there, you know, he's yeah, telling yeah. me, like, shit like that, and, like. He should have told you not to eat the candy can. How <laughs> 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 does that taste like? Tastes like shit. <laughs> does it? Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> but, now nah, what was crazy is, um, I can't even explain it now, dude, like, that shit. She was hitting the nail on the head, though, with everything. Yeah, like, I, I kind of forgot, like, what all the shit she said, but... But, like, going in skeptical, like, at what point were you convinced? So, what what made me convinced was not even just my cousin, because I knew my cousin would be around me all the time, you know what I mean? In a sense, if that's how it is, you know? Yeah. So, when she brought up, when she brought up, um, you know, the second time around, she brought up, Tyler and um, Flacco. And Flacco. And she described Flacco to a T. Long hair, Hispanic mm. looking guy. How did uh, how did she go about bringing him up? So she was like, <clears throat> uh, she was like, so, oh, what, what was crazy is uh, my cousin was like, yo, keep going with the music. And she had no clue I did music. So she's like, yeah, he's, she's like, you got a good crew around you um doing music and shit and that's the time i was still with Sut. like we were chill- still chilling with Sully. we were taking shit. trips like yeah like yeah and um yeah you said she, she had like she, mentioned me low-key somehow she, yeah she was like yeah um your producer like he's he's helping you with a lot of shit right now like keep going like stay mm. with those people that are with you um and then she brought up the camera shit too because i like shooting music videos and shit and uh he said she said that he said the the videos are looking good She's like, I don't know what that means. And I was like, oh, I know what that means. Um, and then um, she brought up my grandpa, too, because she brought it up because of uh, my mom. So that was kind of weird because my mom, she knew that I was my mom's son. You know what I mean? So she already talked about my grandpa and shit. Like so she yeah. had some She kind of brought that up. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Like, you can, you can, like, trash that and try and talk about something else. Yeah. But the second time around, that's, like, right when Flacco passed. Yeah, it was like and, days or yeah, it was like a couple, like a week after, and w- after Tyler too. You know, Tyler died too, so yeah, she brought literally up, within like two days of each other. Yeah, so she brought she brought up Tyler and Flacco, but she was like, "Wow, uh, Flacco's really around right now." Like, they were actually playing. She said they were playing poker together. My cousin Tyler, um, Flacco, and my sister's dog passed, and she said there's a dog in there. <laughs> oh, all dogs go to heaven, bro. Damn. Yeah, that's basically what I said. I was like, all dogs go to heaven, huh? She was like, yeah, oh yeah, I get pets all the time. So, are so you like a hundred percent, like you're a hundred percent, like believe in it, or are you still a little skeptical? Nah, 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 nah. I I believe in that shit a hundred percent. I gotta I, I gotta meet this lady. Dude, Let's get her on the podcast. Facts. Oh, man. dude. I, yeah, I'm gonna set that up, dude. We'll fucking I gotta see what goes. Where she live at again? She lives in New York. So, Dude, we'll get, like, the whole crew in here and just meet all our ghosts. But, so. yeah, I mean, if you put a good price on it, if we get a bunch of people to do it, we could all throw it down and just kind of go. It'd be a fire yeah. live stream. Because yeah. she also does groups, too. So what's going to be weird with the group, she'll, like, explain somebody, and then one of the one of the, one of of y'all will be like, damn, that might be me. You know what I mean? Like, she'll describe somebody. And See, then- but that's what makes me skeptical is, like, it's almost like horoscopes where they leave the door open to where anybody could, like, Relate like to said, it in a way. But like I said, you don't have to say it to you. She'll just keep just describing more stuff, and then you just take but it. But that's what I mean. Like It's it like if you were yourself. like, nah, but when it, it's but, not him. Mm-hmm. And then she moves on to the next description of something totally different, you know, but until what about, you get it right. She yeah, hits but, it on the but, head, though. But what about like when she describes somebody? Like she, like he said, she described Flacco. To Literally, Flacco and... You know, come Did on. Did she now. miss at all though? Like on describing people? Like was there ever a point no, where she was not like, at all. Off? Everything was on point. Everything was on point. Yeah, we gotta get this lady on here. She, yeah. Like I said, she described Flacco, long hair, Hispanic mm-hmm. looking dude, handsome. Um 
funny guy, whatever. That doesn't really anybody can be funny, but funny guy, <laughs> funny guy. <laughs> but no, she was like, yeah, hey, uh, he says he he does music with you, you know. And obviously, me, I don't think me and Flacco ever had a song together, but I've been in the studio. He's been in the studio with yeah, me. Yeah, and there was a while where we were hitting shows. We were just hitting shows, yeah. so yeah. kind of yeah. like in the same group. So everybody was doing the same thing, you know, music wise. So oh, she yeah. was, she was legit. I feel like she was legit. I'd definitely like be interested to like do something like that and just I want to like make me a believer, like you know what I'm saying. And th- that's kind of that's kind of how it was. So, like I didn't believe in that shit, and she kind of showed me like. She convinced you. She convinced me. She's that. either really good her, at her job or it's fucking legit. One or the other. She must be fucking really fucking good, dude, because that shit was That's legit. Dope. That's dope. But now, yeah, I came out there. I, I ain't going to lie. I was crying. I was coming out. I was like, because it, it brought up so much emotion, like, especially, like, with the shit just happened. Yeah, hell yeah. Did stuff. any of that feel like any music? Like, after, after that, were you like, shit, man, I got, like, some ideas for, like, some songs, or I kind of process some of these deaths a little bit more or? yeah because like i said uh, my cousin was telling me be more consistent you're falling off you're doing this yeah. change up your style change up your shit like she was literally saying all this shit like she took that she was like because yeah. at one point i was doing a lot of like hard like hard fucking not not gangster songs but like hard shit yeah. you know what i yeah. mean and he was like that's not your style you need to go like more it like, was at the beginning of your music career where you were like experimenting yeah so like yeah. he was like yo that's not your vibe go to this one you know what i mean and she actually said that to me that was good advice too because yeah. you, you definitely found a sound now yeah so it's like it's i don't know it was different but that's fire we're Everybody watching, look, look, look forward. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get her on here Hell with yeah. with I'm Stoop again. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah! Well, shit, bro. We appreciate you coming on the show. Before we wrap this up, you want to tell everybody where they can find you on social media, where they can find your music, yeah, what you, you got can, coming out. You could uh, find me on Instagram, Stoop Kid Eight Four Three. Pretty much all my social media, Stoop Kid Eight Four Three. Um, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook. Instagram, Facebook. Um, music wise, it's on Apple Music, Spotify. YouTube, anywhere. Just type in Stoop Kid A43. You can find it. Tinder, Stoop's on there. Yeah. <laughs> find me on OnlyFans. Farmersonly.com. Yeah. <laughs> Christian Mingle. <laughs> Blackpeoplemeet.com. <laughs> Yo, remember you found that girl on Bumble and I was just in the background of her picture? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. That was so Randomly wild. As fuck. So wild. I was like, I was scrolling through. I think like, it was, that's Sully. It was this black chick, too. She was hot as fuck. So I'm scrolling through. I was like, I go, hold up. And it, on, on Tinder, you can't, or it was either, either Bumble. It was Bumble, Tinder. dude, because I was in the background chilling. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I zoom in, and I go, that's fucking Sully, dude. Like, totally randomly. I think we were in Savannah. Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. I was like, Sully's in there, dog. Yeah, well, bro, it. we appreciate you coming and spinning Definitely. the block and volunteering for some of the craziest challenges. <laughs> Wait, on hold the on. What about the candy cane? It tastes ah, like just yeah, straight yeah. shit. <laughs> that shit sucks. I'm sucking on the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like sour cream and onion. No, not at all. <laughs> no, sour cream and onion chips are good. I feel it like cans of chalk yeah. shit. It tastes like the bug I just ate. <laughs> oh shit! Or maybe that's still lingering. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Word, bro. Well, thank you for coming again. Yes, Everybody, sir. check out Stoop on all oh, platforms, yes, YouTube, sir. everything. Yeah, and we're gonna cut to a live performance. Like, comment, and subscribe. Late night. Having all that people. Having all that people. Not realizing who I really was. I gotta give it to y'all, that's the truth. This shit get deep. Niggas don't know what we really been through for real. We lost why that shit fucked us up. We lost quit, that shit took our last pee. I'm cold hearted, for real. My nigga JD fighting for his life right now. They get my nigga down there 40. He coming home though. Nigga don't want half of this buzzer shit. I was always a nigga to stand out. But now, the way I show y'all my full potential and give y'all who I am. Third ball, motherfucking trap, nigga. The real gon' stay, the fake gon' divide. Fuck the niggas who last and switch. I'm almost done healing, and when I'm done, bitch, watch out. <laughs> At least I told you. And if you with me, buckle up. Niggas love me, can show no love, cause I don't love them. I'm a buzzer. B U R G bird, baby, bitch, I'm a buzzer. Grew up thuggy. Don't be lost, why eat that shit? Feel like it took the whole hood. Then we lost, darn, damn, feel like it took the whole hood. Niggas love me, can show no love, cause I don't love them. I'm a buzzer. B U R G bird, baby, bitch, I'm a buzzer. Grew up thuggy. When we lost, quit that shit, feel like it took the whole hood. Then when we lost, jiggy, damn, feel like it took the whole hood. I had to grind for this shit, I had to shine for this shit. Young niggas, almost lost my fucking mind with this shit. I had to balance out the pocket, took my time with this shit. Straight to
glass, then I drop it. I can show you how to whip Larika. Put you in the car, put the up it off the hip. I step back, she don't do no talking. Yeah, that's really how I live. Niggas hate on really flossing. No little track got dividends. I catch the sack, I ran him off. They ain't fucking with the kid. Let's shot it, let my side. She ain't trust the process. I made 25 racks, great profit. Niggas look like right switches. Niggas pussy in my city. Niggas, I don't like right, niggas. Every chop got a box. Niggas, I don't fight niggas. Smoke with me, my little nigga, he a gremlin, he gon' blow for free in the chat with crap. Yeah, where the smokers be? This my life, real buddy, this ain't make believe. Niggas love it, show no love, cause I don't love him. I'm a buzzer, B who RG bird, baby, bitch, I'm a buzzer. Grew up thuggy, when we lost Y.E., that shit feel like it took the whole hood. Then when we lost Don, dancing like it took the whole hood. Niggas love it, show no love, cause I don't love him. I'm a buzzer, B who RG bird, baby, bitch, I'm a buzzer. Grew up thuggy, when we lost Quiz, that shit feel like it took the whole hood. Then when we lost Tiggy, dancing like it took the whole hood. Everything be supercharged, but I like red keys. Finning niggas looking for me, I'm with a hands be. Huh. Nigga, I'm with a J's be. Nigga, yeah, this trap shit made me. Attention, nigga, they never paid me. Huh. Name a nigga, huh. yeah, fucking play with me. Huh. Big ass fucking drink, huh. nigga, stay with me. Selling peas, I ain't taking L's, I keep that fucking K on me. Blow, 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 switch just put that fucking Drake on me. Hit a nigga for the bricks, I had to fucking skip the state on shit. Percocet, tears, nigga, and a half a drink on me. Me. Niggas know what's up with Lil Trap, little nigga, I keep that stick on me How some rest ain't stopping shit, little nigga, we getting lows in First nigga in the city with them things, fuck getting them bows in Niggas love it, can show no love, cause I don't love them I'm a buzzer, B U R G Berg, baby, bitch, I'm a buzzer Grew up thuggy, when we lost Y.E., that shit feel like it took the whole hood Then when we lost Don, dance feel like it took the whole hood Niggas love it, can show no love, cause I don't love them I'm a buzzer, B U R G Berg, baby, bitch, I'm a buzzer Grew up thuggy, when we lost Quiz, that shit feel like it took the whole hood Then when we lost Jiggy, dance feel like it took the whole hood We on demon time, man, you tell me about the slide Nigga, don't you try to hide when we on your side Them hollers hit your spine And if I catch you lagging, it about be your fucking time I pray to God you stay up, 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 stay up.